Hello friends, the question is like this. We have to evaluate the value of this integral sin inverse of root x minus cos inverse of root x upon sin inverse of root x plus cos inverse of root x with respect to x when x belongs to the closed interval 0 to 1. Okay, so here x belongs to interval 0 to 1 means that x is positive, x cannot take negative value and and this is the necessary condition for this question to be solved because if x is going to take a negative value then this function is is going to become undefined and so that is why this condition has been given to us as an additional condition okay now to solve this question first of all what i'm going to do i'm going to write sine inverse of root x plus cos inverse of root x as equal to pi by 2 okay so the denominator becomes equal to pi by 2 and for the numerator I'm going to write sine inverse of root x as equal to pi by 2 minus cos inverse of root x. Okay, so I'm going to obtain this value as equal to pi minus cos inverse of root x minus cos inverse of root x upon pi by 2 dx. Okay, further on solving I can write this as equal to 1 minus 2 cos inverse of root x upon pi by 2. This pi by 2 upon pi by 2 can be written as equal to 1. This will be equal to 2 cos inverse of root x upon pi by 2. Further I can write this value as equal to 1 minus 4 upon pi cos inverse of root x. This uh, pi upon 2 is going to become 2 upon pi and is going to give me 4 upon pi. Further I can write this integral as the sum of two integrals uh, 1 dx minus 4 upon pi cos inverse of root x dx. Now to solve this integral, we require the value of integration of cos inverse of root x. If this is solved, then our question is going to become very easy or virtually we have solved this question. Okay, now to solve the value of i1, i1 is equal to, i1 is taken as equal to cos inverse of root x. So to solve the value of i1, I'm going to substitute x is equal to t square or on taking d upon dx of both sides i'm going to get dx is equal to 2 t dt okay therefore i1 is equal to 2 times integration of t cos inverse of t dt so what i've done for dx i've written 2 t dt and for cos inverse of root x i've written cos inverse of t now i'm going to apply the formula of integration by parts to solve this integral and I'm going to take cos inverse of t as the first function and t as the second function to obtain i as equal to 2 times cos inverse of t into integration of t minus 2 times integration of the product of differentiation of cos inverse t into integration of t and integration of this product. Now we can solve the integration of t we can solve differentiation of cos inverse of t we can solve integration of t so i'm going to get i1 is equal to cos inverse of t into t square this this is obtained because integration of uh, t is equal to t square upon 2 in denominator i'm getting 2 here numerator there is 2 so both are cancelled to obtain cos inverse t into t square and for this term i'm going to get this as equal to integration of uh, minus 2 times integration of now differentiation of cos inverse t is equal to minus 1 upon square root of 1 minus t square and integration of t is equal to t square upon 2 okay now further i have written this term as it is and to uh, to solve further i am going to apply a little bit of trick and the trick is like this i have included this minus sign with with this t square to write minus t square this 2 and this 2 i have cancelled minus I have added 1 and subtracted 1 in the numerator to obtain minus uh, of the integration of 1 minus t square minus square root of 1 minus t square dt. Okay. Now, further this term remains as it is. I am going to divide the square root of 1 minus t square with this term and this term to obtain this value as equal to minus of integration of square root of 1 minus t square minus 1 upon square root of 1 minus t square dt. Now again this term remains as it is and to integrate these two values 
first value is little bit difficult so what i'm going to do i'm going to write down first of all to tell you the formula for uh, for integration of this value and integration of square root of a square minus a, a x square is equal to 1 by 2 x into square root of a square minus x square plus a square upon 2 into sin inverse of x upon a plus c so i've applied this formula to obtain this value is equal to minus 1 by 2 t into square root of 1 minus t square minus 1 by 2 sin inverse of t plus sin inverse of t here both terms are obtained of minus sign because of multiplication of this minus sign after integration and this minus and minus become plus so i get here plus sin inverse of t further i i can write this cos inverse of t as equal to pi by 2 minus sin inverse of root x because t is equal to square root of x and for this t square i have written x further this term i can write this as equal to 1 by 2 times square root of x into square root of 1 minus x and for these two terms i can write equal to 1 by 2 sin inverse of root x okay for the what i have done i have written this pi by 2 into x as the first term this is my second term and the third term is minus x into sin inverse of root x and the last term is 1 by 2 sin inverse of root x in next step i'm going to combine these two terms and write this as equal to square root of x minus x square okay like this and further these two terms as it is i can take sin inverse of root x common from these two terms and write it as equal to plus 1 by 2 minus x into sin inverse of root x okay now we have to integrate this this was equal to integration of 1 Minus four upon pi times integration of cos inverse of root x. Now we have assumed i as equal to integration of cos inverse of root x. So this value of i one would be replaced by this integral. Integration of one is x minus four upon pi times this value would be equal to the value of this integral. Okay. Now we have to just simplify these terms to get the final answer. So the first term would be minus x because this minus 4 upon pi when multiply with pi by 2 upon x, this pi pi cancel out. This is going to become minus 2x minus 2x plus x would be equal to minus x. The second term would be equal to plus 2 upon pi into square root of 1 minus x square. Okay, and the third term would be minus 4 upon pi into 1 minus 2x upon 2 into sine inverse of of root x plus c. Okay, now this is my answer, and little bit of simplification more can be done for these two terms. For this term actually, so I'm going to get this term as it is, this term also as it is, and here this term can be written as two into two x minus one upon pi. This two and four can be cancelled to give me two. This minus sign can be multiplied inside to give me two x minus one, and in denominator I have pi sine inverse of root x plus c. So this is my required answer. So this is how I'm going to solve this question. friends thanks for watching my video to watch more of these super videos and for the latest updates subscribe and like the videos on these channels on youtube hsk shiksha and math help by hsk thank you